the idea started as, as where you are in, in your mind as a place because I mean I had such a journey coming here. So I thought where, where do I start? I wanted to put these things into trees, like trees, some real trees and some imaginary trees because some of the thoughts were, were so surreal and, and almost I would say radical that I thought they can't really be trees. So this one was the first tree it started off with the trees as they they blow in the wind and there are tiny people in there where you can't really see whether they're letting go or holding on or leaving or what they are doing so the the first tree is the courage that you need to let go So this little little book, the little wire fence of mistakes, this is probably the first one I did of my little books. Mm -hmm. And I, the idea of it came from a little wire fence that was in my home garden when I grew up. My dad used to grow sweet peas every year up this little wire trellis. But these aren't exact representations, these are patterns that I made before I researched, if you like. So they're my faded memories. So I guess I, I had a relationship with this particular place that started oh, 15 years ago because I was traveling around Tasmania. I was on my own at this stage. And like most tourists, I just sort of rocked up to Cradle Mountain. Got to the top. And just that there was this amazing vista just way off and at that point I discovered you can actually walk through it so there are no roads um, there are huts but there's absolutely you know no shops no access other than this trail that you just follow Well, I mean, it's complete immersion, isn't it? So, you know, one, as soon as you you move at walking pace for a period of time, so, you know, a number of days doing it, you just get a rhythm. You get a rhythm of carrying your gear and you get a rhythm of, um, of how you, you move through that landscape and you have the opportunity to see the sunrise and the sunset and the shadows because you're moving so slowly. I mean, when was the last time you observed anything for any period of time? Very small. I'm kind of hiding. And how many people could, could eat there? In uh, just maybe 10 people. Mm -hmm. 
just one ta big table so everyone sit together it's like a uh, eating at home right yeah Yeah, the first two weeks I thought, um, well, this is hard, like you sleep, you come from this life and you go to a life just on the bike. And then I, yeah, basically realised I couldn't really quit now, I had to keep going. It just gave you time, you stopped, um, being so rushed around like you are when you live here you just all you're thinking about is where you're going to sleep that night what food you're going to eat that day and you just enjoy the people you meet and along the way so it's a really beautiful way of traveling It's not about folk tales themselves or fairy tales, it's about the tradition of telling a story. And so for me, it's about um, the art of narrative and taking people on those journeys. And there's always going to be symbolism because it comes from you and of you. So it's really about um, sharing that journey a little bit and taking people um, on that pathway with you. And I think a lot of it's really relatable. I think as just as human beings, we have um, we have the same kind of trials and tribulations and it's about it's about kind of bonding with other people through my artwork and saying you know what you know this is this is something i totally get and it's it's universal pain and suffering and love and loss and the rest of it So in this group of work I've made, I've used Alice in Wonderland as a theme, but not to illustrate the story. I've done it more um, as a starting point and I wanted to use um, psychological aspects of the story to kind of create um, an exploration of place. So what I've done with one of these larger pieces is taken the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and put it into a boat. And um, I wanted to do that because uh, one thing I like about that part of the story is that at the tea party it's always six o'clock and it never changes. And I liked that idea of um, going on a journey where you've taken time out of the equation. Um, it seemed an interesting idea to me.